Reverend Insanity. Chapter 511. Dark Vortex and Cloud Whirlpool. At Dong Fang Yu Liang's words, Ik Xuan Ming, Zhang Wan Shan and Wan Xin glanced at each other before nodding and activating their goo. Rank 3 Jin Heart Goo to enhance the spirit. Rank 2 Heart Sound Goo to strengthen the voice of one's heart. Rank 2 Harmony Goo, the harmonization of one's heart and voice. Rank 3 Flying Soul Goo, the soul can leave the body. Rank 3, Soul Chain Goo, Souls can be interlinked. Rank 4, Soul Combination Goo, Three Souls can be linked and fused as one. Killer Move Three Hearts Combination Soul. Boom! A soundless explosion burst out as the three Goo Masters' souls flew out of their bodies and merged together into a complete entity in the air. For a moment, in the radius of 200 Li, all Goo Masters with at least 500 man soul could feel a strong pressure spreading and weighing down on their souls. The Goo Masters with less than 500 man soul, however, could not sense anything. This pressure, it is already at the level of 1400 man soul, as expected of three hearts combination soul. Fang Yuan immediately reacted and gazed towards Dong Fang tribe's main tent. He had a thousand man soul originally, but there was injuries from the soul explosion, though he was able to escape from most of its force. His soul strength had fell to 800-man soul, and after these days of recuperation, it had recovered to 900-man soul level. 900-man soul naturally was not able to match against the other side's 1d400-man soul. Unfortunately, there are many eyes within the Alliance army, I cannot get rid of them, otherwise I would have gone to Dang Hun Mountain and used Guts Goo to easily heal all the injuries on my soul. Fang Yuan inwardly sighed while mobilizing the wolf group. Large numbers of night wolves, water wolves, wind wolves and turtleback wolves formed into an enormous force that charged towards the enemy army like a raging river. Wolf King, let us experience your brilliance today, Wan Xin, Yik Xuan Ming and Zhang Wan Shan simultaneous spoke. Because their souls were temporarily merged together, their every movement was done simultaneously and was completely in sync. Under their command, large numbers steel pincers crabs, crystal drilling crabs and big kai crabs flocked together, forming into a firm defensive line within several breaths of time. The wolf group fiercely smashed into this defensive line like a flood striking the dam. Sharp wolf fangs and claws collided intensely against the firm crab shells. Fang Yuan snorted and gazed afar while standing on the twin-headed rhino. Under his exquisite control, the whole wolf group formed into waves after waves of offense. The defensive formation formed by the crabs soon was on the verge of collapsing. This is the nine-layered wave charge. Quick, reinforce me. My crab group won't be able to persist longer. Wan Xin had just thought of this when the other two felt it. Under the effect of three hearts combination soul, they were just like one person. Any thought would be immediately known by the others. No need to worry, my crocodile group is coming. Ik Xuan Ming's expression was unshaken as an excited battle intent emerged in his concentrated gaze. The enemy is the famous Wolf King, being able to fight with such an existence, this life was really not in vain. Under his control, large numbers of six legs crocodile, lava crocodiles, rock crocodiles, and shadow plunder crocodiles soon rushed to the front line. After the addition of these new forces, the defensive line that was on the brink of collapsing showed a sign of being indestructible. Whether it be crabs or crocodiles, they are both beasts excelling in defense. At the same time, under the three hearts combination soul, they are like three people merged together, increasing their beast commanding skills greatly, directly reaching master level. Fang Yuan squinted his eyes, there was no signs of irritation due to not getting any results. Suddenly, he stopped the fierce attacks and wisely chose to slow down the offense. He was not wholeheartedly controlling the beast group, instead he divided half of his concentration to observe the battlefield. His enemies were not these three people, neither Zhang, Wai, nor Yi. 
as a person of importance who could influence the whole battlefield, he was extremely likely to encounter another assassination attempt from Shadow Sword expert Bayan Sik Shuen. Since the battle started, Shadow Sword expert was nowhere to be seen and was likely observing Fang Yuan from the darkness, looking for a good opportunity to kill him. It was only that beside Fang Yuan was the rank 5 Gu Master Hai Lu Lan. Maybe because of this, Shadow Sword Expert had not revealed herself. Right at this time, a large group of blood-colored bats emerged above the wolf group. These bats possessed four wings, the wings were sharp and firm like knives. Under the attack of the bat group, large numbers of casualties started appearing among the wolf group. But crocodile and crab groups took this chance to attack pushing forward their battle line by a hundred steps. Sure enough, it is Zhang Wan Shan's bladewing blood bats group. Fang Yuan's gaze flashed, he was not a bit surprised. With the intel from High Tribe, he had a rather good understanding of the enemy Gu Master experts. Dong Fang Yuliang did not have any enslavement path masters under him, so Fang Yuan had guessed Dong Fang Yuliang would use Three Hearts Combination Soul to deal with him. And the candidates to use this killer move were extremely likely to be the strongest three enslavement path Gu Masters. Now, under Fang Yuan's probe, these three were sure enough Zhang Wan Shan, Wan Xin, and Yik Xuan Ming. Bladewing blood bats' offense were extremely violent, changing the direction of this part of the battlefield the moment they joined the fray. The wolf group that had been occupying the upper hand was being defeated bit by bit, while crocodile group and crab group seized the chance to attack. Mud crabs, small kai crabs, big kai crabs, steel pincers crabs, crystal drilling crabs, six legs crocodiles, lava crocodiles, rock crocodiles, and shadow plunder crocodiles formed into a large mixed army that stretched out like an open steel fist, defeating the wolves in its way and charging straight towards High Tribe's main tent. According to logic, enslavement path Gu Masters would find it hard-pressed to cooperate with each other. A mixed beast group would usually impede each other, making one plus one less than two. But why, Zhang and Yi, these three merged their souls with three hearts combination soul and were like one person, forming a qualitative effect of having one plus one greater than two? Brother Shan Yin Facing the mixed beast group's strong charge, Hai Lu Lan could not help feeling some pressure and his expression turned dark. If they let this group of beasts charge over, he would have to use Black Banner Elite Troop earlier than scheduled. But if he did so, they would not be able to contain Dong Fang Yu Liang's Feather Arrow Elite Troop. The scales of victory was slowly inclining towards the other side. Fang Yuan said to Hai Lu Lan in a low voice, the other has bladewing blood bats group which has very sharp offensive power, and my wolf group is unable to do aerial attacks. More importantly, the other side has used three hearts combination soul to achieve thousand man soul and are able to lead this mixed beast group as if they were one person. If we can break through this killer move, the mixed group will disperse without even putting up any fight. Hai Lu Lan frowned deeply, an ominous glint flashing rapidly in his eyes as he made a decision. Brother Shan Yin, concentrate on the battle, I will resolve this quickly. He suddenly extended his arm that was the size of an ordinary person's thigh. His right palm formed a claw while his palm faced upward. Rank 5 Aura rose fiercely while the primeval essence in his aperture fell rapidly, pouring into four different goo. Dong Feng tribe has three hearts combination soul, while my high tribe has dark vortex. Hai Lu Lan smiled sinisterly, an intense killing intent raging in his heart. Whoosh! A pitch black stream rose in the air and rotated once before flowing towards Hai Lu Lan's palm. Following the second stream, third stream, fourth stream. In a blink of an eye, large numbers of dark streams were created one after another and converged in Hai Lu Lan's right claw. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Countless dark streams rose and merged with each other, creating a wild gale. These finger-sized dark streams pressed at each other and formed a dark speck of light. As large numbers of dark streams continued to pour into it, the dark speck of light gradually inflated 
forming a fist-sized dark sphere. The dark sphere seemed to have immeasurable depth in it, as if the night was condensed into it, even absorbing the light around it, causing a terrified feeling to grow in people. Hai Lulan, however, revealed an extremely excitement and a mad killing intent when he looked at this dark sphere. Dong Fang lad, take this! Hai Lulan suddenly shouted and disappeared from his place. The next moment, he appeared above the enemy main tent. Go and die! Hai Lulan let out a crazed laughter and flipped over his wrist, as if he was holding a thousand jun of weight, he exerted all his strength to slowly push the dark sphere towards Dong Fang Yuliang. Following his movement, that small dark sphere madly expanded and in several breaths of time had expanded to size of a small hill. The pitch black giant sphere pressed down with a seemingly slow speed but was actually very fast. It covered the light of the sun and casted a giant darkness on the ground. Before the giant sphere even struck, all the Goo Master experts in the main tent felt terror like they were facing a calamity. They looked at the pressing giant sphere and felt heaviness as if lead was poured into their body. They wanted to retreat but were barely able to move. Damn it, it is High Tribe's killer move Dark Vortex. Retreat, retreat. Goo Masters exclaimed in shock, not having even a trace of intent to resist. Why Zin and the other two had a despairing look on their face. They were under three hearts combination soul state and would require at least two three minutes to get rid of this killer move. The corners of Dong Fang Yu Liang's lips, however, curled up. He looked towards the sky, the dark sphere growing bigger and bigger in his sight, but his expression was a scene of calmness. Sure enough like I expected, Hai Lu Lan, I have been waiting so long for your move. He slightly raised his right foot and lightly pressed on the white cloud below his feet. The originally tranquil white cloud crazily surged as clouds and mists burst out in blink of an eye like boiling water and formed into an enormous whirlpool. The whirlpool slowly rose up like a giant opened mouth and swallowed the dark sphere. This is... Hai Lu Lan was shocked and furious. At this moment, he realized he had fallen for Dong Fang Yu Liang's scheme. Dong Fang Yu Liang had meticulously arranged this trap, waiting for Hai Lu Lan to come crashing in. Let me teach you, this is the killer move I spent three years of my life to plan meticulously, Cloud Whirlpool, it was specially created to deal with your dark vortex. Hai Lu Lan, you have lost just like many years back. Dong Fang Yu Liang proclaimed his victory. Damn it, Hai Lu Lan gnashed his teeth, his forehead filled with sweat. He wanted to pull back, but the cloud whirlpool was firmly sucking in his dark vortex. The smile on Dong Fang Yu Liang's lips became even bigger as he summoned. Dong Po Kong by in Sik Xuan. His voice was not loud, but under the effect of Goo Worm, it could be clearly heard by everyone. Hearing his command, the shadow sword expert who had been concealing herself for a long time turned into a dark shadow and moved while wriggling in the shadows on the ground. In a blink of an eye, she was in front of the twin-headed rhino. And at the same time, a flash of lightning broke through the air and crossed the battlefield, instantly arriving in front of the twin-headed rhino. The lightning dispersed and turned into a valiant man, who then pounced towards Fang Yuan. Flying Lightning Dong Po Kong, Shadow Sword Expert Bian Sik Xuan. In an instant, both Hai Lu Lan and Fang Yuan had fallen into danger. Chapter 512 Reliable Alliance Mate Dong Fang Yu Liang lived up to his name as the Wisdom Path Gu Master, accurately calculating Hai Lu Lan's reaction. Three Hearts Combination Soul Killer Move was only bait to lure Hai Lu Lan into attacking. Then Dong Fang Yu Liang was able to leisurely unfold his trump card, a killer move that was specially designed to restrict Dark Vortex and trap Hai Lu Lan. Hai Lu Lan had been at the main tent, but now he was trapped. The defense around Fang Yuan had suddenly decreased by a very large amount. Taking this chance, Shadow Sword expert Bian Sik Xuan appeared and charged into the main tent to once again assassinate Fang Yuan. 
As long as Fang Yuan died, the wolf group would immediately disperse and the scales of victory would greatly incline towards Dong Fang Alliance Army. To make sure this beheading the leader tactic succeeded, Dong Fang Yu Liang had not only a ranged shadow sword expert, but also an even stronger Gu master. He was Dong Po Quang known as Flying Lightning, one of the few flying masters of Northern Plains, a lightning path Gu master with rank 4 upper stage cultivation. He had not made a move even in the chaotic battle earlier, patiently waiting till now to shock the world with one move. Protect Wolf King. Sneaky bastards, don't think you can have your way. Wolf King, leave quickly. Six rank three goo masters around the main tent jumped up one after another, trying to hold off Dong Po Quang and Bayan Sik Xuan. Scram! Dong Po Quang coldly shouted, lightning suddenly crackling around him. The three Gu masters who were blocking him were struck by the lightning. Their defensive goo worms were instantly destroyed. Two instantly died while one was heavily injured. Haha. <laughs> Bayan Si Xuan chuckled softly, her body turned into a shadow and quickly moved like a poisonous snake through the goo masters blocking her and moved past them. What? Such speed? Is this shadow sword expert's true strength? The three goo masters were shocked. They gazed back only to see Bayan Si Xuan's seductive back figure. They wanted to chase, but found they could not move at all. Their hands and feet were tied up by a dark shadow, firmly binding them to the spot. Facing the above and under pincer attack from Dong Po Quang and shadow sword expert Fang Yuan paled, his gaze revealing a frantic look as he retreated in panic and shouted, Quick, someone come protect me. Wolf King, no need to worry, Hai Zhu Yi will guard you. One person stood behind Fang Yuan, clothed in black and had unshaken expression. He walked forward few steps and stood in front of Fang Yuan. Courting death, Dong Po Kuang shouted, the lightning over his body crackled violently and turned into a battle spear which he then stabbed towards Hai Zuyi. Bayan Sik Xuan snorted and flicked her wrist lightly, immediately throwing out a torrent of shadow swords. Hai Zuyi's expression did not change at this combined attack from two experts. He put together his palms in front of his chest and transferred his primeval essence. Boom, next instant, his defense was fully activated. Fifty-six flying bone shields flew together and blocked in front of him. A green halo flew above his head and illuminated a range of a hundred steps. Black iron-like metallic light formed a set of thick armor which then covered him from top to bottom. Nine ghost faces whimpered and wept as they revolved around him. At the same time, a dark brown oil wind breezed in between the flying bone shields. Dong Po Quang's lightning spear pierced through seven flying shields and made a hole through the dark brown oil wind, but was blocked by the black armor. Bayan Sik Xuan's shadow swords bombarded upon the shields, shattering eighteen shields, but were thwarted by the oil wind. The shadow swords seemed to have fallen into a swamp as their momentum dispersed and were no longer a threat. Hai Ziyu Yi was Hai Lu Lan's expert and also one of the three commanders of Black Banner Elite Troop, an expert in defense. Facing the defense specialized Hai Ziyu Yi, Dong Po Quang and Bayan Sik Xuan were actually delayed for a while, unable to break through. Hai Ziyu Yi had suffered a terrible defeat during the battle with Mo Shi Quang. It did not mean he was weak, but the enemy was too strong, a top expert in the whole of Northern Plains in this struggle for Imperial Court. Now, facing the combined strength of Flying Lightning and Shadow Sword Expert, Hai Zhu Yi shielded here and there, firmly protecting Fang Yuan who was behind him for dozen moves. His goo set had complementing goo worms focused on defense and had been carefully chosen. Dong Po Quang and Bayan Sik Xuan tried to break through multiple times, but it was all a failure. The aftermath of this battle caused severe pain to the twin-headed rhino. The giant rhinoceros screamed in pain and stamped its feet, recklessly charging in the battlefield without considering allies or enemies. Hai Ziu Yi's expression turned heavier. His primeval essence was quickly depleting because of this intense battle, already reaching the bottom. 
while the other side had two people and their primeval essence consumption was half that of Hai Ziyi. Hai Ziyi was now confronted with a difficult choice. The first choice was to continue to defend to death without caring about his primeval essence expenditure and hoping Hai Lu Lan or others would come in time to support him. But now the twin-headed rhino was crazily rampaging and had already traveled far away. How high was the possibility for the reinforcements to cross the battlefield and arrive in time? Second option was to conserve his primeval essence. But with this, his defense would fall and the chance for the enemies to break through would increase dramatically. In case they were able to move past him, Fang Yuan who was behind him would be in grave danger. What should I choose? A hesitating look flashed in Hai Ziu Yi's eyes, but was soon replaced by resolve. He began to slowly cut down on defense and was no longer very active in facing the enemy's attacks. Dong Po Quang and Bian Sik Xuan immediately sensed the change in Hai Zhu Yi. They attacked several times and took some risks and were about to succeed. Even if Wolf King had an important identity that concerned the whole situation, even if Hai Ziu Yi was appointed by Hai Lu Lan to defend Chang Shan Yin, but at this critical juncture when he was at risk, Hai Ziu Yi was not able to give up his own life. If it was Lord Hai Lu Lan behind me, I would definitely risk my life to protect him. But Chang Shan Yin is just an outsider, always acting so arrogant and looking down on me, why should I sacrifice my life for such a person? Even if Wolf King dies, we still have the Black Banner army and are still a match for the enemy. Yes, I need to save myself and continue to render my service to the tribe. Hai Ziu Yi's thoughts surged rapidly to justify himself and gradually began to have a clear conscience. He was originally guarding Fang Yuan, but now was only looking after himself, thus his primeval essence consumption immediately slowed. Now is the time overlapping Shadow Gu. Suddenly, Bian Sik Xuan noticed a gap in the defense, her eyes flashed with a sharp light as she grabbed this chance and activated the Gu Worm Dong Fang Yu Liang had lent her. This overlapping Shadow Gu was a rank 4 rare Gu, which was very difficult to find in the market, and its price was comparable to many rank 5 Gu. Initially, Bian Sik Xuan had agreed with Dong Fang Yu Liang for this Gu to be her reward once she assassinated Fang Yuan. But Bian Sik Xuan's assassination failed, and the brain explosion Gu she had struck with was also dealt with by Fang Yuan. With her proud nature, she would naturally not accept this overlapping shadow Gu. But before this battle, Dong Fang Yu Liang had lent her this Gu of his own initiative, just to be on the safe side. Overlapping shadow Gu might only be a rank 4 Gu to others, but to Bian Sik Xuan, it could raise her battle strength explosively and was even more precious than rank 5 Gu to her. Under the use of overlapping shadow Gu, Bian Sik Xuan's multiple shadow swords overlaid upon each other, and in just a second, only one sword remained of the overflowing shadow swords. This shadow sword was as dark as the abyss and was like a solid object. All the offensive power of the shadow swords had been overlaid together in it. Bian Sik Xuan pierced the sword forward. The sword easily broke through Hai Ziu, Yi's defense like a knife cutting through Tofu, and pierced towards Wolf King. The defense that had lasted for a long time was finally broken. Dong Po Quang let out a breath of relief at this scene. He continued to hold back Hai Ziu Yi to provide a chance to Bian Sik Xuan. But Hai Ziu Yi could not care about this as he already had an intent to retreat. Now that Shadow Sword Expert was charging towards Chang Shan Yin, this was the chance for him to retreat, why would he not take this chance? Thus, he quickly retreated and directly jumped off from twin-headed rhino's back. Dong Po Quang looked at Hai Ziu Yi's fleeing figure in shock. He hesitated for a moment before thinking that it was better to quickly kill Wolf King, so he did not chase Hai Ziu Yi. But when he gazed back, he saw Bian Sik Xuan's shadow sword had already pierced into Chang Shan Yin's chest. Bian Sik Xuan pierced it so deep that only the hilt of the shadow sword remained on the outside. The sword had pierced through Fang Yuan's chest and large part of it stuck out through his back. 
Wolf King, remember, the one who killed you is Shadow Sword expert Bayan Seek Shuan. Bayan Seek Shuan's eyes turned red, excitement filling her face. The famous Wolf King, whose name had spread throughout the northern plains, died by her hands. This glory, this brilliant battle achievement, caused her whole body to shudder in happiness. It's over, Dong Po Quang also raised his brows in joy. Wolf King has died, my army has now the upper hand and victory is within grasp. Far away, Dong Fong Yuliang, who was observing the battle with a detective goo, clenched his fists in excitement. He raised his head and smiled calmly at Hai Lu Lan who was competing with the Cloud Whirlpool. Hai Lu Lan, Chang Shan Yin has been beheaded. Now stop and admit your defeat, I will give you the position of a general and also an opportunity to enter the imperial court. But what made him surprised was Hai Lu Lan not only did not fly into a rage but instead revealed a malevolent smile. Dong Fang Yu Liang, look carefully with your dog eyes. Right at this time, Bian Sik Xuan and Dong Po Quang's shocked exclamations rose from the twin headed rhino's back. What? Dong Fang Yu Liang had a very bad feeling and immediately used his investigative goo to gaze ahead. He saw Chang Shan Yin had already turned into a puddle of water. Several goo worms flew out with only a water image goo remaining in the water which was almost pierced into two by the shadow sword with only a thin layer of skin holding its body. This was the water image goo of water demon Hao Jai Liu. Previously, he had used water image goo in the heroes' assembly to deceive everyone by passing it off as the genuine body, and was able to kill fire prodigal Chai Ming. Before this great battle, Fang Yuan had taken this method into consideration and made a plan with Hai Lu Lan. To prevent news from leaking out, this arrangement was only known to the three of them. Fang Yuan's true body had never been in the main tent, but was instead hiding in a corner of the battlefield. With Wolf Kergu, he had been observing the battlefield and commanding the wolf group to fight. The dialogues with Hai Lu Lan previously was also a facade prepared by using a series of goo worms. Damn it, this is a fake. Where is the real Chang Shan Yin? Bian Sik Xuan and Dong Po Kuang's expressions turned extremely unsightly. They had fought so hard for such a long time, but the result was that they were tricked. Chapter 513 Seven Star Light From the back of the twin-headed rhino, shadow sword expert and flying lightning looked around everywhere. In the chaotic battlefield, dozen or so rank four Gu Masters had formed their own battle rings out of which three matches were finished. Hai Tribe 1-2 while Dong Fang Tribe 1-1. One, one. Several divisions of elite troops were still fighting against each other, and because of Dong Fang Yu Liang's scheme, Hai Tribe was on the losing end in this aspect. The battle of Wolf Group with Crocodile, Crab and Bat Group was also in a deadlock. There was no sign of Fang Yuan, no one knew where he was hiding. Bian Sik Xuan and Dong Po Kong searched in vain, their expression turning several shades darker. Dong Fong Yu Liang soon accepted the fact of this failure, he smiled brightly. This is somewhat interesting, but still within my expectations. As long as Wolf King continues to command the wolf group, his soul fluctuations will be revealed and sooner or later, we will find his position. Hai Lu Lan, your loss has only been momentarily delayed. Ha ha ha. Hai Lu Lan threw his head back and laughed loudly, his laughter containing a disdainful intent. Dong Fang Child, you really think I was restrained by you? Saying so, the skin on his whole body turned pitch dark like the night. At the same time, endless black smoke oozed out of the pores on his body. The black smoke surged and soon covered his whole body. In just moments, Hai Lu Lan turned into a human-shaped black smoke with smoke rising in spirals. When looked from outside, one would only see a pair of bloodthirsty eyes. A very ominous feeling welled up in Dong Fang Yu Liang's heart. A thought to retreat immediately crossed in his mind. However, although the Cloud Whirlpool was restricting the Dark Vortex and restraining Hai Lu Lan in another aspect, was it not same as the dark vortex restricting cloud whirlpool? 
The next instant, Hailu Lan turned into black smoke and actually entered into the dark vortex. Not good, Dongfang Yuliang immediately felt his blood run cold. But it was already too late. The dark giant sphere that was as big as a small hill was originally being slowly swallowed bit by bit by the cloud whirlpool. But suddenly, the dark vortex rapidly shrunk. The cloud vortex was unable to react in time and quickly contracted with the flow of the dark vortex. But next instant, the dark vortex suddenly expanded violently. No, instead of saying expansion, it is better to call it explosion. Dong Fang Yu Liang was overwhelmed. There was no sound, it was a soundless explosion. The cloud whirlpool could only hold for three breaths before it was burst by the dark vortex. The dark giant sphere continually enlarged and swallowed everything, be it humans or beasts like a prehistoric giant monster. Only when it covered a radius of ten li did the semi-circular dark sphere disappear. There was no sound wave like that of a normal explosion and also no wind force was generated. This strange tyrannical explosion had the nature of corrosion with the ability to melt everything. After the dark vortex disappeared, Ten Lai of Battlefield was completely cleared, with only Hai Lu Lan remaining in the air and Dong Fang Yu Liang who was in a deep crater on the ground. All the remaining humans or beasts within the radius of the explosion of the dark vortex were eroded into nothingness. Hai Lu Lan looked down at Dong Fang Yu Liang with extreme exhaustion, he was gasping for breath and his whole body was soaked in dark red blood but the corners of his lips had curled up into a crazed, sinister smile. Ha ha ha, Dong Fang Yu Liang, since you can think of this cloud whirlpool killer move to restrict dark vortex, I can also improve on my killer move. How is it? How is the taste of the banquet I prepared for you meticulously? This is a trump card which I have been concealing all along, not even letting my kin know. Hai Lu Lan laughed wildly, his laughter echoing throughout the whole battlefield. For a moment, his aura pressed down on his surroundings, even the Gu masters in the battle could not help but gaze towards him. When they saw Hai Lu Lan occupying the upper hand, Hai tribe's Gu masters' morale surged high, while Dong Fang tribe's Gu masters felt a heavy pressure on their heart. The generals were the source of courage of the troops, the fight between Hai Lu Lan and Dong Fang Yu Liang was crucial to the soldiers, it was very important and was not only a matter that concerned an individual life or death, but would influence this great battlefield. Cough cough. Hai Lu Lan was laughing wildly, when suddenly he spurted out several mouthfuls of dark blood. Although this move was very powerful, it would also cause self-harm. It was classified as a self-harming move, and no matter what the result, once it was activated, most of the goo worms that formed the dark vortex killer move would die. Once goo worms died, the goo masters would naturally suffer from backlash. But this move was already very profitable. In one move, Hai Lu Lan not only escaped from the trap, he was able to counter pressure Dong Fang Yu Liang and also kill Wai Xin, Zhang Wan Shan and Ik Xuan Ming who were in three hearts combination soul state. With these three people dead, the mixed beast group immediately began to fight against each other with there being no one to guide them. Just like Fang Yuan said before, they crumbled. With this mixed beast group rushing everywhere and attacking recklessly, the battlefield turned even more chaotic. Dong Fang Yu Liang rose up slowly with a solemn expression. Hai Lu Lan had kept this move extremely confidential. Dong Fang Yu Liang did not even have a trace of any relevant clue, so he had not expected for the killer move to be improved with such terrifying destructive power. As a matter of fact, he had secretly prepared a means of escape for Ik Xuan Ming, Wai Xin and Zhang Wang Shan, which could directly transfer these three to the rear of the battlefield. However, when Hai Lu Lan was improving on his killer move, he added a space path goo as well. Thus, when the dark vortex exploded, the surrounding space was locked and Dong Fang Yu Liang's methods lost their effectiveness. Dong Fang Yu Liang, it is still not late for you to accept your defeat. As long as you surrender, I can let bygones be bygones and forget all my past hatred and appoint you as my first military advisor. 
Hai Lu Lan tried to make Dong Fang Yuliang surrender in front of everyone. Dong Fang Yuliang coldly smiled. Hai Lu Lan's lustful nature was widely known and had already been coveting after his sister Dong Fang King Yu. Dong Fang Yuliang might surrender to other forces, but he would never choose to pledge allegiance to Hai Lu Lan. Hai Lu Lan, you are really too optimistic. Even if your side is occupying the upper hand, you are still a long way from victory. Come, let us fight. Seven Starlight. Dong Fang Yu Liang softly shouted, seven lights swiftly rose up beside him. These seven lights had different colors, continually rotating around his body, drawing a beautiful light orbit. This was Dong Fang Yu Liang's signature killer move. These seven lights had different effects and under their empowerment, Dong Fang Yu Liang activated star thought goo. Whoosh! Countless thoughts gushed out as bright as starlight. The radiance of these star thoughts could not be covered even by the sunlight. A sea of star thoughts rose up to the air, and within few breaths of time, Dong Fang Yu Liang had tens of thousands of star thoughts. In the air, starlights merged into one and formed a large patch of star cloud which surged forward with great momentum. Hai Lu Lan, take this! Dong Fang Yu Liang shouted and shot the star thoughts beside him towards Hai Lu Lan. Such an enormous scale of star thoughts burst through the wind with astonishing grandeur. HMPH, a trace of fear flashed past the depths of Hai Lu Lan's pupils. Wisdom Path Goo Masters were not defenseless people. Each Goo Master Path had its own attacking methods. A path without any attacking methods would be eliminated and vanish in the passage of history. Many years ago, Hai Lu Lan and Dong Fang Yu Liang had crossed swords. At that time, just a scale of several thousand star thoughts was enough to make Hai Lu Lan suffer greatly. Star thoughts were very fast and would directly attack the enemy's mind from any direction possible and were very difficult to guard against. So many star thoughts, it seems Dong Fang Yu Liang really intends to bet his life. Creating so many star thoughts without any restriction, it is already no longer as simple as injuring soul or body. No matter what the outcome of this battle is, Dong Fang Yu Liang will lose at least two years of his lifespan. My state is not good now, I had better avoid it first. Hai Lu Lan had thoughts of retreating when he looked at such a large scale of star thoughts. He disappeared from the spot, appearing thousand steps away. But star thoughts were as fast as lightning as they chased after Hai Lu Lan without giving up. Hai Lu Lan snorted, healing himself while continually dodging. The enormous start cloud formed from the star thoughts continued to chase after Hai Lu Lan, devastating everything in its path. Some Gu masters with weak willpower were directly struck into idiocy by the star thoughts. Most of the Gu masters whose minds were struck by star thoughts immediately felt dizzy and could not keep standing stably. Only few Gu master experts with firm willpower moved their thoughts to destroy the external star thoughts. But because of these Gu masters resisting the star thoughts, the intense battle had slowed down. Rank 4 Gu masters could rampage through the battlefield, but once a rank 5 Gu master moved, they could influence the whole situation. Dong Fang Yu Liang made an all out attack, pressing down Hai Lu Lan into disadvantage. The star cloud formed from the majestic star thoughts became the first force to dominate the battlefield. Although star thoughts exhausted rapidly, the star thoughts Dong Fang Yu Liang created were extremely fast. As time passed, the size of the star cloud did not decrease, but instead slightly increased. Almost everyone in the battlefield were concentrating on the star cloud. When the star cloud neared, most of the Gu masters would choose to flee, afraid of being struck into idiocy. However, Dong Fang Yu Liang did not have the least bit of joy and was instead filled with worry. Hai Lu Lan's movement Gu was outstanding, even star thoughts could not catch up. Dong Fang Yu Liang knew clearly there were two people who were the most significant in High Alliance Army Hai Lu Lan and Chang Shan Yin. 
Right now, Hai Lu Lan was escaping faster than a rabbit, while Chang Shan Yin was hiding somewhere, meticulously suppressing his soul and only using a portion to control the wolf group. The chance of bringing him out in the light in this chaotic battlefield was extremely minute. Since it is so, I shall destroy your elite troops. I want to see if you can still keep on enduring. A cold glint flashed in Dong Fang Yu Liang's eyes. The star thought cloud suddenly changed direction and charged towards the battle rings of the elite troops. These elite troops were at least of rank 2 cultivation with rank 3 Gu masters as their leaders. They had numerical advantage but could never be Dong Fang Yu Liang's match. Under the special consideration of Star Thought Cloud, High Tribe's Blue Butterfly Elite Troop immediately collapsed with countless casualties. My elite troop? At this sight, Yi Tribe leader shouted in heartache. Still not coming out? Dong Fang Yu Liang slightly raised his brows and mobilized Star Thought Cloud to attack War Dog Elite Troop. War Dog Elite Troop was immediately disrupted, and the surrounding elite troops took this chance to besiege them killing this elite troop quickly and easily. My war dog elite troop, Wang tribe leader's body trembled in heartache. Who knew how much resources and energy Wang tribe had used to cultivate this elite troop? Such precious battle force was destroyed within moments. HM, still not coming out to rescue them? Dong Fang Yu Liang's brows furrowed deeper. Killing two elite troops one after another had caused a huge consumption in the star thoughts. If not for him continually creating new star thoughts, the star thought cloud would have already been used up. Despite the empowerment from seven star lights, Dong Fang Yu Liang still felt an intense weakness at this moment. Strands of white began to appear in his bluish black hair. Kill, kill, I want to see how long you can maintain this killer move. Fang Yuan, who was hiding in some corner, enjoying this scene through Wolf Kergu while smiling coldly. To him, the more people that died, the more souls he would be able to collect after the battle. Anyway, as long as they obtained victory at the end, he still held the qualification to enter imperial court. Dong Fang Yu Liang was trying to force Fang Yuan out by slaughtering the elite troops, but it will only happen in his sweet dreams. Chapter 514 Wolf King's Ruthlessness The battle continued. Because of Dong Fang Yu Liang using all his strength to attack and slaughtering three elite troops one after another, Dong Fang tribe began to occupy upper hand. Kill. Let us kill all these high tribe thugs. Kill all the men and take all the women to our camp. Dong Fang Alliance Army's morale surged high, their offense becoming fiercer as they beat back high tribe allied army without giving them room for breather. However, the originator of this momentum, Dong Fang Yu Liang, was somewhat worried. Although we look to be moving towards victory, my side has already shown our trump cards. My killer move Seven Star Lights won't last for long if I still can't force Hai Lu Lan and Chang Shan Yin out then. Dong Fang Yu Liang's eyes flashed with a cold light when he thought of this. His clear and incisive eyes gazed towards the mid-army of High Tribe, where Black Banner Elite Troop was stationed. This division of Elite Troop had formidable strength, far surpassing others. Till now, this precious force had not made any move and was holding their position. Next, Dong Fang Yu Liang's gaze moved towards a specific corner of the battlefield. G tribe Gu masters were gathered there with Ji Guang and the rest being blood-soaked and fighting bravely. Dong Fang Yu Liang expressionlessly split the star thought cloud into two. One half moved towards Black Banner elite troop while the other half moved towards Ji tribe. Seeing the invasion of the star cloud, Black Banner army's three commanders paled. Defend, all forces activate Gu together. The commanders sent the command and all the heads of the Black Banner elite troop put all their efforts in activating Gu. Battle Thought Gu was similar to Star Thought Gu and Empty Thought Gu and was also one of the Wisdom Path Gu Worms. All the different ranking commanders of Black Banner elite troop coordinated to activate rank 3 to rank 4 Gu. These Battle Thought Gu were meant to be used on Black Banner elite troop. 
During the battle, the battle-fought goo would enter their brain and surge their battle intent, making them fearless. Star thought cloud pounced towards them. Red thoughts emerged above the Black Banner elite troop. There were few of these battle thoughts, but with them guarding beside the Black Banner elite troop, the elite troop was able to forcibly resist the impact of the star thought cloud. High Tribe is indeed worthy of being a super tribe, the quality of their elite troop is far beyond that of other tribes' elite troops. Fang Yuan inwardly praised at this sight. These Black Banner elite troop belong to High Tribe completely and would keep on accumulating their strength during peaceful times. The Goo Masters in this troop were carefully selected elites, and with the large amounts of training and enormous resources invested in them, they were able to form into a trump card. Each of them had firm willpower and possessed the ability to resist the thought's impact by themselves. Now, with the protection of battle thoughts added, the devastation of Star Thought Cloud was restrained for the first time. Naturally, there was a crucial reason for this. Dong Fang Yu Liang had not used all his strength in this and had divided the Star Thought Cloud into two, only using half of it to attack Black Banner Elite Troop. Black Banner Elite Troop's breathtaking performance shocked the people, forming a clear contrast with the other devastated Elite Troops. While on the G Tribe's side, miserable screams kept on ringing out. They were being slaughtered under the attack of the majestic Star Thoughts. Fang Yuan watched this indifferently. He was able to use Wolf Care Gu very proficiently, allowing him to see G Tribe's miserable condition clearly. G Tribe was no more than one of his chess pieces to disguise his identity. As the chess master, why would he put himself in danger because of a chess piece? Still not coming out? Dong Fang Yu Liang waited patiently for a while, secretly observing with his detection goo. As long as Fang Yuan made any move to rescue the Ji tribe, he would be able to pinpoint Fang Yuan's exact location through the soul fluctuations. But no matter how long he waited, Fang Yuan did not make any move. Such cold and heartless action of Wolf King made Dong Fang Yu Liang feel a chill down his spine. On the contrary, when Hai Lu Lan saw his Black Banner elite troop showing signs of not being able to hold off anymore, he quickly made his move. Dong Fang Yu Liang Dai, he shouted with a grandeur that looked like he had already recovered from the backlash. Dong Fang Yu Liang snorted, large numbers of new star thoughts emerged above his head and charged towards Hai Lu Lan. The two collided in the mid-air, exchanging many moves, for a time, the victor or the loser could not be determined. With Hai Lu Lan's interference, the star thought cloud that was causing troubles for Black Banner elite troop had no more support and completely disappeared after causing mayhem for a while. The battlefield that had turned chaotic for a while again entered a deadlock. A smaller part of the dozen or so rank four battle rings had already ended with the result ending in death or injuries. Among them, Wind Demon and Water Demon were still fighting. Shadow Sword expert Bayan Sik Xuan and Flying Lightning Dong Po Kong, however, were moving back and forth in the battlefield. These two both had outstanding movement Gu, and even when they were blocked by rank 4 Gu Masters, they were able to easily get past them. They were continuously searching for Fang Yuan's traces, but unfortunately Fang Yuan kept on hiding without making any moves, causing their search to be fruitless. At the same time, in Nai Yu Blessed Land, two Gu Immortals, a male and a female, were sipping tea while observing the smoke image on the center of the table. The smoke image kept on surging, showing the scenes of the battle between Hai Tribe and Dong Fang Tribe. The scenes were extremely clear, showing minute details of every corner. The female Gu Immortal Tan Bai Ya looked away and smiled towards the male Gu Immortal Dong Fang Cheng Fan. Looks like this battle will be determined by the battle between Dong Fang Yu Yang and Hai Lu Lan. Whichever side wins will be the side that will occupy the upper hand. Dong Fang Yu Liang, this young man is pretty good being able to bring the battle into a stalemate while having weaker military forces than High Tribe, it seems Brother Chang Fan's guidance is quite effective. Dong Fang Chang Fan had an ancient noble appearance with eyes that intermittently flashed with all kinds of colors. 
This soul wisdom path Gu immortal of Dongfang tribe indifferently shook his head and said with indifference. Actually, I only said two to three sentences to Dong Fang Yuliang, but this young lad is indeed good and quite interesting. After returning, he wantonly proclaimed this and rose up borrowing my prestige. He has some talent and also puts in great efforts. I have already promised him that as long as he can be the lord of the imperial court, I will heal his little sister and nurture him as one of my successors. Become the lord of imperial court. Tan Baiya was slightly dazed before smiling, please forgive little sister for being blunt. In this round of the imperial court contest, I am afraid Dong Fang tribe does not have a high chance. Within the several popular candidates this year, Yi Liui tribe's Yi Liui Sang is thought to have a high chance by everyone. This time, Yi Liui tribe's supreme elder Yi Liui Lai has secretly entrusted an immortal Gu to Yi Liui Sang. This is already an open secret in the circle. Yi Liui tribe might be part of the Huang Jin family and one of the super tribes of Northern Plains, but they haven't gained ownership of Imperial Court for the last eight rounds. Because of this, Yi Liui Lai has been made fun of by Hai Cheng of Hai tribe in these days. He is probably mobilizing Immortal Gu this time to regain face. Dong Fang Chang Fan chuckled after he finished speaking, his chuckle seemed to contain disdain. Tan Bai Ya sipped tea and said, Yes, speaking of Hai Cheng, Hai Lu Lan is his 27th concubine's child. This is his son, so he has been actively supporting from behind because of sentiment and principle. Thus, Hai Lu Lan is also one of the popular candidates. Historically speaking, the struggle for the imperial court is no more than a competition between several large Huang Jin family tribes. Those that are able to be the lord of imperial court have immense support from behind. From what I see, Hai Lu Lan's chances are much higher than your tribe's Dong Fang Yuliang. Dong Fang Cheng Fan, however, slowly shook his head. Tan Bai Ya's eyes flashed with a trace of interest at this. What is it? Could it be Brother Chang Fan also privately gave an immortal goo to Dong Fang Yuliang? Or maybe you set up some arrangements to ensure Dong Fang Yuliang becomes the Lord of Imperial Court. Wisdom Path Gu Masters had the ability to scheme deeply and make deductions. Most Gu Immortals have either experienced this personally or have heard of it. Wisdom Path Gu Immortals were few in numbers, Dong Fang Chang Fan was a famous Wisdom Path Gu Master of Northern Plains. If he had secretly made arrangements, and as long as it did not openly break the game rules for the fight for Imperial Court, Dong Fang Yu Liang would have a great probability of success. However, Dong Fang Chang Fan negated Tan Bai Ya's conjecture. No. During this round's competition for Imperial Court, Ma Tribe has enormous momentum and could be said to have one foot on the throne of Imperial Court. Why would I Dong Fang Chang Fan do pointless work? He, Dong Fang Chang Fan, was already old and did not have much time left. He had calculated that the time of his death was around the corner, and thus for the tribe and also for his legacy to be continued, the matter of importance was to choose and nurture his successor. The fight for the imperial court was secondary. Not all Gu Masters could become Wisdom Path Gu Masters by having a set of Wisdom Path Gu Worms. Dong Fang Chang Fan was very pleased with Dong Fang Yu Liang's talents and even was slightly fearful. What made him even more pleased was Dong Fang Yu Liang had a weak and sick little sister who was unable to cultivate. This was Dong Fang Yu Liang's weakness, and as long as he grasped this hold on him, he would not need to worry about Dong Fang Yu Liang's loyalty. The fight for the imperial court was only a plan he set for Dong Fang Yu Liang. After Dong Fang Yu Liang was defeated, he would definitely come to beg him to save his little sister. This was akin to him gaining a hold on Dong Fang Yu Liang of the latter's own initiative. If Dong Fang Yu Liang succeeds by fluke, that would also be an unexpected surprise. Even though he had promised Dong Fang Yu Liang to heal his little sister, who is to say if she would be cured completely? Tan Bai Ya was surprised. What is this? Brother Chang Fan, you actually are optimistic about Ma Tribe? Ma tribe might be a large-scale tribe with quite extraordinary military strength, 
but they don't have an Gu Immortal Supreme Elder. Dong Fang Chang Fan seemed to be waiting for this question as he leisurely replied, Sister Bai Ya, you are unaware that Snowy Mountain Blessed Land has already secretly contacted Ma Tribe to give them support. Snowy Mountain Blessed Land, that group of demonic path Gu Immortals? Tan Bai Ya's complexion sank as the news had quite a huge impact on her. She closely looked at Dong Fang Chang Fan. Brother Chang Fan, how did you know this? Dong Fang Chang Fan proudly smiled. I personally deduced this, you are the first one to know of it. Tan Bai Ya immediately believed most of it. Dong Fang Chang Fan was a wisdom path Gu immortal. This deduction he made personally should be equal to the truth. She also knew his details and knew he did not have any reason to deceive her. Moreover, Snowy Mountain Blessed Land's group of daimonic path Gu Immortals had always been coveting after 88 True Yang building. This time, they were secretly supporting Ma Tribe to get their hands on Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's inheritance, such things had happened many times in the past as well. Thinking of this, she could not remain seated anymore. She was Liu Tribe's external supreme elder and was secretly supporting Liu Wen Wu. In case Liu Wen Wu obtained the throne of Imperial Court, it would be an extremely big help to her status in Liu Tribe. Ma Tribe's existence had severely affected her arrangement. She naturally could not be tolerant and stood up. Brother Chang Fan, this matter is of grave importance. Demonic path Gu Immortals are jackals and wolves, the others are still in the dark. Little Sister will go inform them, please forgive Little Sister for taking her leave. Go, go. Dong Fang Chang Fan slowly nodded and opened the door of the Blessed Land. After Tan Bai Ya left the Blessed Land, Dong Fang Chang Fan's face that had no change like an ancient well showed a hint of a smile. This discussion was a scheme he had made for Tan Bai Ya. Tan Bai Ya was also an astute Gu immortal, but since she was involved herself and also had her own expectations from this, she could be easily plotted against. Dong Fang Chang Fan's gaze moved towards the smoke image where some changes had appeared in the battle. After a long fight, Dong Fang Yu Liang was slowly unable to hold up and began to retreat. With the main chief commander retreating, the army morale instantly fell and under Dong Fang Yu Liang's command also began to retreat. The army was rattled but retreated without rushing, they had clearly received a lot of training. Dong Fang Yu Liang had already expected this, thus he had spent a lot of care in planning the retreat prior to the battle. Dong Fang army slowly retreated while counter-attacking occasionally. Many Gu masters of high tribe were instead the ones to lose their lives due to carelessness. Wind demon, you gutless rat, want to run? Water demon Hao Jai Liu shouted, his body was filled with injuries and was soaked in blood. Wind Demon scoffed, but did not reply, instead retreating silently, firmly acting on Dong Fang Yu Liang's command. The defensive line the army had constructed before was several hundreds of lie farther. As long as they could retreat to the defense line, they would have time to get some rest and recover their strength. At that time, it would be high tribe armies turn to feel a headache, and this bad start would only be a small detail. However, right at this time, wolf group suddenly howled and gathered together, once again forming into a wolf tide that unfolded a death charge towards Dong Fang army. The wolf group was different from Gu Masters. Gu Masters cherished their lives while the wolf group could charge on without fearing death. Damn it! Dong Fang Yu Liang's heart was tearing as he looked at this. Under the wolf group's charge, Dong Fang Alliance army suffered countless casualties and panic soon spread in the army, continuing to show signs of crumbling. Fang Yuan used 80% of his master level enslavement attainment. The people who looked at it were dazzled as the assault came in waves after waves unceasingly. Dong Fang army was like mud which under the cleansing of the wolf tide broke apart piece by piece. The strong soul fluctuations revealed Fang Yuan's position. But Fang Yuan was already in the open now. He was standing on the calm twin-headed rhino with many Gu master experts gathering beside him. Wolf King Chang Shanyin, 
Dong Fong Yu Liang gnashed his teeth, his eyes seemingly breathing fire. In this battle, he had thoroughly experienced the ruthlessness and the ferocity of Fang Yuan. Don't forget, Fang Yuan had only acted twice in this battle. The first time he moved, he directly created the all-out war, causing many of Dong Fang Yu Liang's arrangements to have no place to be used. And now, the second time he moved, was the time when Dong Fang army was its weakest, throwing stones at them when they were having difficulties. Right now, the Gu masters almost had no primeval essence in their aperture, having risked their lives for so long. Although they still had strength to battle, they were perishing together with the wolves. Fang Yuan's wolf group also had severe losses. But this was already a great profit, his wolves could be easily replenished, there were many wolves in northern plains. But the sacrifice the other side had to make were precious Gu masters. Chapter 515 Dong Fang Yu Liang's Backup Plan Dong Fang army suffered huge losses within a short period of time, and they abandoned the large numbers of corpses as they retreated. Run! Run, it will be too late if we don't go now. The situation Dong Fang Yu Liang was most worried about finally happened Dong Fang Alliance army collapsed with no intent to battle, only concentrating on escaping. High Tribe Army took this chance to unfold a cruel massacre. Dong Fang Yu Liang gnashed his teeth and promptly mobilized rank 4 Gu Master experts to hold back the enemy. The experts turned around and dealt a heavy blow, restraining the momentum of High Tribe Army. But this did not last long as High Tribe's rank 4 Gu Master experts took the stage and hindered the Dong Fang Tribe's experts. Dong Fang Yu Liang made a move again, but was pinned down by Hai Lu Lan. Seeing his side troops chasing after the enemy and having the momentum in unfolding cruel massacre, Fang Yuan stopped and summoned the wolf group beside him. This move immediately won favorable impression from the Black Banner elite troops commander who was beside him. In his view, this was a great chance for Wolf King to get battle contributions, but the latter instead gave these battle achievements to others. This commander praised Fang Yuan openly. Fang Yuan knew the other party was trying to express goodwill. Hai Ziyu Yi had been appointed as his bodyguard, but Ziyu Yi deserted him in the face of danger, and if not for the water image Gu, he would have already been dead. However, Fang Yuan never counted on someone else's protection, he only relied on himself. Moreover, Hai Ziyu Yi was Hai Lu Lan's trusted general, and because of this, he would not be able to do anything to Hai Ziyu Yi if he raised this topic. Even if he could, Fang Yuan was not willing to be in such pointless internal friction. He casually replied, secretly hinting the commander that he did not put this matter in heart. Only then did the commander let out a breath of relief, secretly feeling. Though Wolf King was arrogant, he was truly magnanimous and extraordinary. Finally, Dong Fang army made a mad run to the first defense line, paying a disastrous price for this. 20% of the whole army had died during the first battle, but 50% had died during the chase by the wolf group and the enemy. The remaining 30% who were injured and disabled managed to run to the defense line. Among the rank 4 experts, two died in the process of holding back High Tribe Army. The High Tribe Army chased without stopping, but they were shot through by the Feather Arrow elite troops who were standing on the defense walls and lost hundreds of people before running away in sorry figures. This was the elite troop that the Dong Fang tribe had cultivated by spending a lot of care and resources. They were not any weaker than the Black Banner elite troop. High tribe's Gu masters tried to charge through three times, but were shot back into retreat by the Feather Arrow elite troop. Hai Lu Lan mobilized the rank four Gu masters to charge forward, but they were trapped by Dong Fang Yu Liang's arrangement and lost three experts. Lord Alliance leader, the enemy is relying on their location to defend, and they occupy the geographical advantage. Our side has fought hard for long, we don't have sufficient primeval essence to keep on fighting, it would be better to retreat for now and make new plans. The group of experts returned to the main tent where cunning gentleman Sun Shihan suggested this idea. Fang Yuan's brows furrowed. 
He had his previous life memories and knew Dong Fang Yuliang was very good at handling messy situations, winning against stronger opponents as the weaker side. If they delayed for long, the amount of intel he would receive would increase, and it would be more unfavorable for High Tribe. This time, there was Fang Yuan's interference which led to the High Tribe occupying a greater dominance than in his previous life, but Dong Fang Yuliang who was in a good shape was an enormous threat. To deal with Dong Fang Yuliang, the best way was to continue attacking, without giving him the chance to scheme and calculate. Hai Lu Lan pondered on Cunning Gentleman's suggestion in silence. He had crossed hands with Dong Fang Yuliang before and was well acquainted with Dong Fang Yuliang's methods. He did not want to let go of this chance in front of him, and thus his gaze moved towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan proudly smiled and said to Hai Lu Lan, High tribe leader does not need to worry, I can guarantee you that I will break this defense line in just a quarter of an hour. The crowd raised their eyebrows in surprise while cunning gentlemen sneered, feeling Fang Yuan was boasting. Hai Lu Lan, however, was joyous. Then I shall see the Wolf King's ability. The wolf group once again gathered together and unfolded an endless charge at Dong Fang tribe's first line of defense. The Dong Fang tribe defended very tightly and in just moments, wolf corpses littered under the walls. High tribe's troops were overwhelmed at this sight. Fang Yuan was simply sending the wolf group to their death, disregarding the sacrifices, especially the Feather Arrow elite troop. They were experts at long-distance attacks and were with the direction of the wind from the walls. Rank 4 experts acted as emergency response group, moving everywhere. As long as an area showed signs of falling, they would move one after another to avert the disaster. Dong Fang tribe's defense line was truly like a fortress. Fang Yuan scoffed while continuously activating Wolf Howl Gu and creating shocking variations in the assault. Every variation brought an enormous threat to the defense line. This high intensity of battle caused enormous sacrifices in the wolf group. 280,000 wolves had died in a short period of time. Fang Yuan was expressionless as he commanded the wolf group from the twin-headed rhinoceros's back. The gazes the crowd in the main tent looked at him quietly changed. A wolf king's ruthlessness caused fear to emerge in these people. Such a majestic and fierce wolf tide gave them a feeling of being insignificant. Wolf King Chang Shan Yin, such a ruthless heart you have, do you want to spare none? Dong Fang Yu Liang's expression was heavy. The large numbers of sacrifices in the wolf group were exchanged with intense consumption of primeval essence of Dong Fang army. He was extremely regretful. If he had known this, he would rather give up on Hai Lu Lan to take Chang Shan Yin's life. Finally, Dong Fang tribe's Gu masters could not hold up anymore, and the wolf group's offense made them so exhausted that they did not even have time to take a breather, much less recover their primeval essence. Retreat. Helplessly, Dong Fang Yuliang could only send down the command to retreat. Just like Fang Yuan proclaimed, after a quarter of an hour, Dong Fang tribe's first line of defense was broken. Dong Fang Yuliang left behind a group of crippled Gu masters to cover their retreat and led the remaining troops to escape towards the second defense line in the fastest speed possible. My wolf group is very exhausted and is not fit to chase them anymore. Fang Yuan withdrew his wolf group and made way to give High Tribe Army the chance to move. This action won him almost everyone's good impressions. I have sustained some injuries in this battle, you guys chase them and kill them all. But be careful that Dong Fang Lad definitely has some arrangements. Hai Lu Lan did not move from the main tent, and instead sent Hao Jai Liu Pan Ping, the Wang tribe leader, and others to chase. The crowd excitedly crossed over the broken defense line and moved in pursuit. But the troops had just crossed over the defense line when an intense explosion suddenly burst out. Boom! Just like the crackling of a thunder, dozens of goo masters were instantly fried, leaving behind flesh and broken limbs on the ground. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately after that, large numbers of explosions exploded in a chain reaction, covering the whole defense line. 
the troops who went to chase immediately suffered huge losses and fell into chaos. It is charred thunder potato goo, Dong Fang Yu Liang buried large numbers of them under the defense line. The investigative goo masters returned to report in the main tent. I can see it. Hai Lu Lan's expression was extremely dark as he waved his hand for the investigative goo masters to take their leave. He was not stupid and immediately realized he had been schemed by Dong Fang Yu Liang. Setting up so many charred thunder potato goo would require a long time. This time was actually given by Hai Lu Lan. Before the battle, Dong Fang Yu Liang had purposely sent a challenge letter to start the war. In retaliation, Hai Lu Lan listened to Cunning Gentleman's words and delayed it for several days, only starting the battle after his rear army gathered. This gave Dong Fang Yu Liang the chance to put this plan in action. The explosions continued without an end, inflicting many casualties among the High Tribe Army. The most crucial point was that their pursuit had stopped. The High Tribe Army could only watch as the Dong Fang tribe's remnant troops safely escaped. Charred Thunder Potato Goo might only be a rank 2 goo with limited power, but there was just too many of it. Besides this, there were also many rank 3 muffled thunder potato goo and a few rank 4 thunderclap potato goo mixed among them. Even if goo masters were able to activate defensive goo and preserve their life, their primeval essence would be greatly consumed. There were only a few goo masters who had flying goo worms. Even if these people could catch up to the enemy, their strength was weak and would instead be giving Dong Fang tribe the opportunity to kill them. The Goo Masters, who had been worked up and excited to establish merits, finally returned to the camp in a sorry figure, full of injuries. We have already gained a huge victory today, Dong Fang Lad is only delaying his death. I can still have the pleasure of killing him later. Hai Lu Lan pacified himself and began to handle the post-war affairs. Cleaning the battlefield, healing the injured, listing the battle merits. These were all complicated affairs that required energy and time. Fang Yuan naturally was not willing to waste his precious time on this. He casually gave an excuse and left the main tent, returning to his large lizard house goo to continue cultivating. He had established huge contributions in this battle, and although he only moved a few times, each time was crucial. In front of his military success and position of strength, even cunning gentlemen kept quiet, much less anyone else. The Wolf King was not injured by the blast. Dong Fong Yu Liang listened to the battle information from the detective Gu Master and felt quite regretful. Through this battle, he placed Fang Yuan as the number one enemy with threat even higher than Hai Lu Lan. Cheng Shan Yin was extremely cunning and vicious, not even caring about Ji tribe's life or death. Although he was only at rank 4 peak stage, he was much more troublesome than Hai Lu Lan. Dong Fang Yu Liang had originally calculated that the chance for Cheng Shan Yin to mobilize his wolf group to chase them was very high. But his meticulously prepared trap did not even ensnare a single wolf and instead killed large numbers of high tribes goo masters. A goo master's life was much much more precious than wild wolves. But Dong Fang Yu Liang was not happy. To a wisdom path goo master who were experts at deductions and schemes, a strong and powerful enemy was not troublesome. But even though the wolf king was strong, he was not conceited, and instead was a very calm opponent. Such opponents were a thorn in the neck. It was precisely because of Fang Yuan's few times of making a move that caused Dong Fang army to fall from slightly losing position to utter defeat. From this, a gap appeared in the two sides where the High Tribe was in a clear superiority and Dong Fang army was in a disadvantage in a worsening situation. Looking at this battle coming to an end in Nai Yu Blessed Land, Dong Fang Chang Fan retracted his gaze and collected the smoke on the table into his sleeves. Even without a need to deduce, he could tell that Dong Fang Yu Liang was already in an absolute disadvantage after this battle. Unless Hai Lu Lan made a great mistake, Dong Fang Yu Liang's hopes of advancing to imperial court had become very minute. However, Dong Fang Yu Liang had performed remarkably in the battle, even creating a stalemate with his comparatively weaker military force. 
he had made full use of all the cards available to him, especially his move in protecting the tribe's strength, which caused there to not be a single loss in Feather Arrow Elite Troop. This is his loyalty towards the tribe. Now it is a test to see how well he deals with this messy situation. Dong Fang Chang Fan slowly closed his eyes, very pleased with this point. Other tribes' casualties were their matters, it was okay as long as Dong Fang tribe's losses were not large. The struggle for the imperial court by itself was an arrangement set by giant sun immortal venerable. One of the objectives was to preserve his bloodline while weakening the other tribes. 